The MMSI is a microphone on-off switch made by Electrosystems. The chassis is made of steel and its overall size is approximately 3 and 3 quarter inches wide, 3 inches high, and 1 and 3 quarter inches deep. Three versions are available. The MMSI-T is the standard toggle switch version. The MMSI-F is the foot switch version. And the MMSI-R is the remote version. The device allows you to turn any balanced microphone, dynamic or condenser, on and off without producing noise on your sound system. Without the proper circuitry, turning a condenser microphone on and off produces a very loud bang on the speakers. The MMSI-T and MMSI-R units come with a decent sized toggle switch, which is stronger and easier to use than the miniature switches often found in electronic products. All versions have two indicators. A blue LED tells you that the phantom power is on, and a green LED lights up when the microphone is on. Both these indicators appear clear when they are not illuminated. This way there is no question whether they are on or off. Because the MMSI uses phantom power from your mixer, there is no need for a battery or external power supply. If you are using dynamic microphones without phantom power, the switch unit will still operate, however the indicators will not light up. To use the switch unit, you simply plug your cable from the microphone into the XLR female connector in the unit, and plug the unit into your mixer using another standard XLR microphone cable. The microphone can then be turned on and off using the toggle switch. The device can be located anywhere in the line. In most cases, you would put it near the microphone so the person speaking can turn it on and off at that location. The MMSI is supplied with three different mounting options. Rubber feet are provided for desktop or portable use, and double-sided foam tape is supplied to stick it onto a flat surface. It also has four holes in the bottom of the chassis in case you want to screw it to a surface. To do this, remove the four screws in the top corners and lift the lid off the unit. All of the components are installed on the lid, leaving the chassis bottom fully exposed. Now screw the chassis bottom to your surface through its four holes. Then replace the lid and its screws. Because the screws are on the top of the lid rather than the sides, there are less restrictions to where you can mount the unit. You don't need to leave any space at the sides to allow for a screwdriver. The standard MMSI-T comes with a toggle switch for controlling it by hand. And the MMSI-F version comes with a push-button foot switch. The MMSI-R is a remote version. It consists of the MMSI base unit without the switch and LEDs. The toggle switch and LEDs are mounted on a remote plate, which plugs into the base unit. To install the remote version, drill a hole in your table surface. The hole needs to be a minimum of 1 and 5 8 inch diameter. Insert the remote plate cable into the hole and screw the plate to the tabletop. The remote plate now plugs into the base unit, which can be left loose or mounted nearby. The interconnecting cable is about 3 feet long.